Hello dear learners, this is Dr. R. S. Patil. Today I am going to talk about the topic spotting the error for correction. Learning objective, at the end of the session, student will be able to understand the correct usage of tenses in English grammar for effective communication. The content, how to spot the tense error, types of errors in tenses, confusion in the present tense, confusion in the past tense, confusion in the future tense, identify the verb forms, subject verb concord or subject verb agreement, verb confusion in past and present tense, present perfect tense for or since. This is the question for you. Try to understand the question and I will pause my video for a minute and think over the question and answer it. Let us resume. English is often considered as a tricky language. Some students tend to commit some common and silly errors in verbal or written English communication. The most common area of errors in the English language is tenses. Let us see the common errors in tenses and how to rectify. Students often commit errors in tenses such as confusion between past and present or future tense in a single sentence or within the tense such as confusion between present perfect tense and present continuous tense. Types of errors in tenses. So some of the common errors in tenses and how to identify and rectify those. First one confusion in the present tense. In to signify an action which takes place at the moment or current time. To denote whether the action is a single instance or recurring event. In present tense, there are four types of tenses. Is simple present tense, present perfect tense, present continuous tense, present perfect continuous tense. Simple present tense, Ram goes to school. In present perfect tense, Ram has gone to school. In present continuous tense, Ram is going to school. Present perfect continuous tense, Ram has been going to school. When to use present tenses? Simple present tense refers to constant action. Present perfect tense refers to an action that has taken place a while ago but is yet to be completed. Present continuous tense refers to an action which is taking place in real time. Present perfect continuous tense signifies that action which is taking place over a period of time. Confusion in the past tense. Past tense is used to refer an event or action that has taken place earlier. Simple past tense, Ram went to school. Past perfect tense, Ram had gone to school. Past continuous tense, Ram was going to school. Past perfect continuous tense, Ram had been going to school. To avoid confusion in the past tense, learner should understand whether the action was a single instance event or was recurring event confusion in future tense. Future tense is used for events which are yet to take place or a planned for the future. Simple future tense is used for near future that is for Ram will go to school tomorrow. Future continuous tense Ram will be visiting his grandparents next week. Future perfect tense Ram will have reached his grandparents house by this time next week. Future perfect continuous tense future tense uses simple future tense is used for a certain actions takes place at a certain time. Future continuous tense refers to an incomplete or ongoing actions at a time later on. On the other hand future perfect tense is used to refer an action which would be completed at a time later on. Future perfect continuous tense is used to explain an action which is ongoing or incomplete at present but will be completed at a later time. Step is how to spot the error. Learner can understand by reading the sentence, its sentence structure, verb form and its usage in English grammar. Identify the tense form of the verb. Here three sentences are given. First is I write this letter to please you that is a present tense. I wrote the letter in his very presence that is past tense. I shall write another letter tomorrow future tense. Select verb tense. Thomas Edison tried many filaments for his incandescent lamp. Tried is the verb. The interior temperatures of even the coolest stars are 
measured in millions of degrees r measured is the work form so child's balloon was slowly rising into the sky so rising is the verb form of errors in the verb form each of these players have been warned not to repeat the silly mistakes this is the sentence it is broken into pieces and select where is the error so error is in b that if each and every is used it is not not the subject verb agreement so has should be used so each of these players has been warned not to repeat the silly mistakes second lime and soda is a digestive drink no error before miles are not a long distance for a young person like you here the second b is the error that cause after the size the quantity and the measurement we use as a singular form of the verb 4 miles is not a long distance for a young person like you so rules of subject verb agreement or subject verb concord each and every text singular subject singular verb each boy and girl has to attend the function every man woman and child was happy to meet with the president a plural noun denoting quantity or measurement of time money distance or weight as a unit text a singular verb 5 kg is not a heavy weight 6 miles is not a long distance use simple present and continuous present tense she is taking milk daily we can correct this sentence she takes milk daily it is because simple present tense is used to express a habit apple is tasting sweet instead the apple tastes sweet i am having a problem instead i have a problem answer some verbs are not used in the continuous tense test hear smell feel love like have because these verbs are the stative verbs subject verb concord or agreement means subject of a sentence must agree with the verb of the sentence singular subject follow singular verb plural subject follow plural verb for example rama plays cricket we are swimming sentence correction for example the questions will be asked like this one that is choose the best version of the underlined part given in the following sentences and improve the sentence i am tired as i am working since 7 o'clock in the morning b i ha i have been working b is the answer because when we are using since and for we use present perfect or present perfect continuous tense second wings of fire have been written by apj abdul kalam so option is the correct that is has been written wings of fire has been written by a dr apj abdul kalam use correct verb form of tenses the correct verb form you have to use here was is the correct one in the first sentence that is dash watching tv when paul and simon arrived do you think he understood what i said she are dash a letter to the editor for tomorrow's news she is writing is writing is the correct verb form of the tense fourth one she dash to learn english in malta next summer hopes to learn english in malta next summer past tense past tense is used for past actions it is time they start it is time they started past tense is used after it is time identify the tense form of the verb i will back up your story we breathed in the fresh air i breathed out a sigh of relief he is warming up while scott looks for his new leather coat john is sleeping right now will back up that is future run the present and will bail that is future breathed in the simple past breathed out that is also simple past and he is warming present continuous tense looks for that is simple present verb confusion in the past and present tense a sentence remains incomplete without a verb the usage of the verb is often mistaken and is one of the most common error in tenses ram did not went to school yesterday correct sentence is ram did not go because when we are using did we have already used the past tense ram did not go to school yesterday incorrect another sentence 
the students were sitting at their desks right now the students are sitting at their desks right now because it indicates the present tense another form of the errors in the tense exercises the glass window pane dashed while the kids were playing cricket the glass window pane broke while the kids were playing cricket i will call you in the evening the last date to submit the project is end of the day today these are the another examples you can refer read the examples so that you can understand which type of tense be used for the correction for and since for example i have been sitting here since 7 o'clock with certain verbs like lie work teach there is a little or no difference in meaning between the two tenses when since or for is used for example i have lived here for 1995 i have been living here since 1995 he lives in vijayawada for 5 years he has lived in vijayawada for 5 years is the correct sentence they are working in our factory since 1990 instead they have been working in our factory since 1990 the answer that is the present perfect and present perfect continuous are used with for and since these are the references you can refer for your understanding for more clarity i hope you understood what are the errors in present tense past tense and future tense and how to correct or how to rectify those errors by using the rules of subject verb agreement subject verb concord past tense present tense and future tense its uses thank you